Not quite sure how much of this I'll post. Okay, before I turn the uh, TIG on, this is Chris's big black 620's 620 bracket. I'll go ahead and let it cool down for a little bit. Ah, it's amazing how far that heat friggin' transfers. Okay. While I'm waiting for that one to cool down a little bit, I need to move the alignment screws over for the other one. I could uh, tack the other 620 bracket I was just talking about, but uh, I want to check clearances and that stuff and see if what I build off on the tabs works before I just do another set. So yeah, it's going to have to be another one of those uh, shaky ones. Okay, so there's there's the clearance there to the spindle. That's that one machine. Point. Man, that's the that's the same freaking thing I kicked over yesterday. And there's the uh, the other. So this part here will have to get ground and clearance a little bit for the Allen. Okay, there's just no way the I, that goes up in there. But then you'd have to do it with an Allen bolt. You couldn't do it with a socket or a box end. Uh, not an Allen bolt. You'd have to do it with an open end wrench, uh, and you're going to want to torque these down, you know, tight enough that uh, y y there, there's just yeah, yeah, and you can't get a socket in there to do it. Um, so it's going to be these to test the other side. I'm only going to be able to use two bolts because this tab is cut off. That tab's in the way. I can't mount the caliper. But I should be able to check the clearance. Oh yeah, cool. Um, yeah, basically same clearance as the other side, so uh, I'm good to go. Now, granted, on the other spindle, it'll have to have that spot there for the Allen. Well, I guess maybe you want to try it first if the Hey, if it clears, you don't need to do any grinding then.
here's the other ones. I'll just leave them there cooling. Oh, back hurts, neck hurts, shoulders hurt. Thank God I don't do it for a living right now, huh? I really like that last one. Yeah, there's one. That definitely got over the edge there. Take a little grinding to get that one cleaned up. The other side doesn't look too bad. I was having a, was having a heck of a time uh, keeping it centered. I keep wanting to wander off, but... Anywho. Uh, basically, I'm going through on at least a couple of pair of brackets right now and fusing the uh, seams together with the TIG weld. Uh, Parts are coming out really nice. I, you know, it, it needs to be effective. It's not for strength. It's just basically for uh, uh, to seal that gap. Okay. Um, and I'm even double gloving it here. I've got my TIG gloves on and my arc welding gloves so that I can grab this and move it around. And basically, I'm just fusing it together. But you know, I have to do it like a half inch at a time or whatever. I don't have the foot control on. I just got settings that. Uh, that I like on there, so on the uh, welder, so we'll shoot some and see if uh, anything's worth watching. So some of it's not as pretty as I wanted, but you know, uh, it should be pretty effective for what I was trying to do. I'll have to uh, shoot some more after uh, they cool off and I sandblast them or wire wheel them. They're, uh, yeah, that's that crater from the last uh, three seconds of welding. I may bring this up later, but, uh, you know, I got to thinking about it, and with the bracket like this, you know, because having to machine those tabs, stuff like that, that's kind of a pain in the butt, um, you know, but it would be nice to have all the brackets fit one to the other, so that way if a guy puts it on a 521 originally, it can move over to a 620 if he wants. I don't know why you would ever take it off a 521. You know, but then I don't really have to worry too much about, you know, do I have either or kind of thing. Anyway, I was thinking about this, though. If the next time I make these, I could actually leave these holes blank and these three holes. And I could have the laser cutter. And if I do the perimeter welding, then I don't even have to have those cut. Uh, you know, I could just go back to the way I did it before, <laughs> do the perimeter welding. And then what I would end up doing is... Uh, just making a jig for these or whatever that would sit, you know, work on the CNC uh, mill. And then I could have it, no matter what the orientation is here, I could have it uh, uh, figured out, set it up, whatever. Um, I could have it center drill or drill the holes and stuff like that. Um, and then actually even come in and do the backside here if I get that warp from the... Uh, uh, perimeter welding so that was just a thought you know if I put it in this way I can't really get in and get the clearance in there uh, and I can't get that clearance in there either so uh, man the tables hot from soaking up heat
more or less thinking out loud.